Hi guys. This is D. Igorotech. Today, I will show you how to create an administrator account, read only user account and user defined user accounts. The administrator or admin user has full management access to the device. To prevent accidental changes to the configuration, it's best only for network administrators. On the other hand, the read only user account can view the full configurations but it doesn't have permission to edit the configuration or settings. However, we can also create a special user access profile in which they are granted to edit some categories and view only other categories assigned by the admin user. Let's begin. If you look at the top right of the page, notice that we are currently logged in as admin which is the default user account. We can check this account by going to System Administrators. If you look at the person logo, that shows that we are currently logged in through that account. You can see the username is admin. And the profile is super admin which means full access. Two-factor authentication is disabled. If you want to know more about two-factor authentication then check my other video on this series. Now, if we look at the admin profiles. By default, we have two profiles which is the proof admin and super admin. Let's check first the super admin profile. You can see it has two references. It's linked to SSO administrator and system administrator which is the default account in which we use to log in to this device. To view the settings, simply double click on it. If you look at the permissions, all of it are grayed out so you cannot change any settings. This profile is for the network admin since it has the full access management. You can see we only have the option to return. Now, let's check the proof admin. It's basically the same with the super admin but you can customize the settings based on your preference. We will get back to this later on. Let's go back to administrators. For better security, avoid using an admin username since it's very common for attackers. If you check this user setting, you can see it's grayed out. We cannot rename the username because we are currently logged in using this account we can only change the password. What we are going to do is to create a different admin user then afterward we will rename or delete the admin username. At the top of the window, click create new. Since we are going to create an admin user account then let's choose administrator. Enter your desired username. If you used some capital letters then you need also to use them during the login process. For the type, leave it to local user. Enter your password, Make sure to use a complex password. Click the eye icon to verify your password. You can see I just used admin for this demo. Confirm your password. Comments is optional. For the administrator profile. Notice that we have some profiles which is hidden on the admin profile window. You can click on edit to view the settings. Now, since we are going to create full access account then let's choose super admin. Leave the rest to default then click OK to save the changes. Notice the user which we just created. Name is Jack. The profile is super admin which is full access. Type is local and two-factor authentication is disabled. For this administrator accounts. By default, it can be used by multiple users to log into this device and can access anywhere concurrently. Let's now log out as admin user so that we can log in using the newly created account. Enter the newly created account. Authentication failure. Again, this is because we use capital letters when we created the account. Make sure to enter the exact username and password. Let's bypass these pop-ups again. Notice that we are now logged in using the newly created account. Let's go back to administrators. Notice the person logo which means we are currently logged in using that account. For the admin username, we can either delete or rename. To delete the user, simply click on it then click delete and confirm. To rename or change the username, simply double click on it. Now, change it with your desired username. You can also change the password if you prefer. You can also click on API preview to review the changes. Also you can edit in CLI from here. Once done, click OK to save the changes. 
we have now renamed the admin username. Next is we are going to create a read-only user account. But first, we need to create the profile. Go to Admin Profiles. Click Create New. Let's give a name of read-only to make it simple. Comments is optional. You can review per category then mark it as read. Alternatively, you can expand the permissions then choose read-only to automatically change all categories. You can see that all categories change to read. Permit usage of CLI commands. This will allow this read-only user to open CLI and run some commands. Also, we have the override idle timeout. You can enable this option if you prefer. You have the option to choose never timeout or offline in minutes. For this demo, I will leave it disabled. Click OK to apply the changes. You can see the newly created admin profile. The reference is still zero because we haven't linked any user account to this profile yet. Let's now create a user account. Go to Administrators. Click Create New. Choose Administrator. Enter your desired username. Type would be local user. Enter the password. You can click on the eye icon to view your password. Confirm your password. Comments is optional. We will enter read only for this demo. Expand the administrator profile then choose the read only profile which we just created. Leave the rest to default then click OK to apply the changes. You can see the newly created account. The username. Profile is read only. Type is local. Two-factor authentication is disabled. If you remember, we added some comments when creating this profile but we couldn't see it here. To show other options, right-click on the Category tab at the top. Here, you can see more options. Notice the comments is not checked or enabled. Click on it to enable. Click Apply to save the changes. Now, you can see the comment we entered earlier which is read only. Let's log out then re-log in using this newly created account which is the read-only account. We are now logged in using the read-only account. Next is we are going to test to change the configuration. We can test to change some of the interface IP address. Let's try to change the DMZ IP address. Again, you can see that we are logged in using the read-only account so we shouldn't be able to change any configuration as what we said earlier. Double click on the interface to edit. You can see that we can edit the configuration but we don't have the option to save so our changes will not be applied. We only have the option to return. Since we enabled the CLI diagnostic commands then we should be able to run CLI and execute any commands. Lastly, we are going to create the self-defined administrator admin profile and user account. We did not allow to create a user through this account so we are going to log in using the user admin or full access user account. Go to System. Admin Profiles. You can create a new profile. Give it a name and modify the settings based on your preferences. Alternatively, we can simply edit the other default profile which is the Proof Admin. Double click on it to edit. You can add any comment if you prefer. For the permissions. If you choose none then the category will be hidden for this user. Read is they can only view but cannot edit the settings or configuration for this category. Read and write is you are granting them full access to this category. For this demo, we are going to hide the network so we will tick none under network. You can also click on custom to view more options. You can choose based on your preference. But for this demo I will just choose none. It will hide the interfaces and the routing categories. Click OK to apply the changes. Now, we can create new user account or simply edit some of the current accounts. Since we have two super admin account then we will edit the other one. We're not currently logged in through this account so we can edit the account settings. Under administrator profile, choose the proof admin which we just modified. Click OK to apply the changes. Let's log in using the account which is under proof admin. Now, let's go to network. Notice that we cannot view the interfaces and routing. We can edit the rest since we only hide the network for this account. I hope by now, you know how to create a full access user account, 
read-only user account and self-defined user based on your preference. Well, that's all for today's demonstration and I really hope you liked this video. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials. Thank you and see you in the next video.